my father and I used to go on walks a lot and he used to ask me, what do you want to do and what do you think is great, you know. So one day he asked me that question and I just gave a whimsical answer, you know, like the Lucasian professor of theoretical physics and applied mathematics at Cambridge. He said, great, why don't you pursue that? We're just investigating chaos uh, at the molecular and atomic levels. The butterfly effect, you know, the flapping of a butterfly's wings in Brazil can affect the path of a tornado in Texas. Most real-world systems with some degree of complexity, uh, chaos plays a role in it. The motion of planets. Financial markets. cardiac rhythms, even the milk mixing in your coffee. There is always some degree of chaoticity. The challenge with our project is we're looking at the fundamental deepest levels of nature. You can measure the trajectory of the large scale objects, but when you're in the realm of quantum mechanics, there's the uncertainty principle which, which invalidates the notion of trajectory. So we need new approaches. We need to somehow figure out new ways of looking at it globally. The computational aspect is for when you're looking at a quantum system, um, the relevant mathematical apparatus that we have, it's, it's called the Hamiltonian. A Hamiltonian matrix, it outputs the total energy of the system. You have the number of possible states and that information is encoded in a vector and the Hamiltonian matrix acts on the vector to give you uh, the, the expected energy. Somehow the randomness that we associate with ordinary chaotic objects, you know, swinging pendulum or the weather. Somehow that randomness is encapsulated in, in random matrices and, and they make a very good model for quantum chaotic systems. I'm really grateful to the Newcomb Institute um, for supporting me over the summer and the, and the ongoing fall term. My plan is to eventually write a senior honors thesis uh, based on this research.